what happened in the constituency today. So now we have the latest results for Southeast St. Mary. Looking at the results here from the Electoral Office of Jamaica, the PNP's Dr. Shane Alexis has 40% of the votes. But let me tell you first how many boxes have been counted. 98 of 108 boxes have been counted so far. So that is 90.74%. The PNP's Dr. Shane Alexis has 6,406 votes. And the JLP's Dr. Norman Dunn has 7,516 votes. We're now joined by Delroy Chuck. Uh, Mr. Chuck, you just heard me say the results. Um, how are you feeling about I the feel election extremely results? Extremely elated. I expected that we would have won by over 1,000 votes. The likelihood is that we may end up winning by about 12, 1,300 votes. I'm so happy that the labor rights have come out. They wanted Norman Dunn this time to make it very clear that he not only win, but they felt last time that he had won. And I can tell you, across Anato Bay, I'm coming from Dover. I drove through Belfield and Castleton today, and believe me, they were out in their numbers. And as you can see, we're likely to get close to 8,000 or over 8,000 votes, which is much more than we got in 20 in 2016. All right. Uh, the last time you won the seat was in 2007. That's no, correct. right. How did the JLP manage to pull this off this time? There's no doubt that the campaigning by all the party, the party came out in full. We walked the street. You can see the Prime Minister walking barefoot. I was walking in mud several evenings and all our ministers and MPs really gave support to Norman Dunn and the organization was just fantastic. How much of an impact, do, though, do you think, uh, Mr. Chuck, that, uh, for example, the contract of the Junction Main Road, we hear the other side sometimes I, I accusing about those things, about the vulgar use of state funds, to quote some person. I don't think that has any effect. And the reason I say this, very little work has gone on the Junction Road. There's no doubt that that announcement was made from last year. It came again this year, and very little work has gone on the Junction Road. It is a no natural Thing that a party in government, if you have a by-election and you can give out some work, you give out some work. So I don't think there's anything unusual or vulgar about it. What has gone on is well within the realm of what a government can do when a by-election is called. Uh, celebrations this evening? Absolutely. I mean, as you can hear, on the streets of Anatobe, there's a lot of celebration and the labor rights are really feeling good. Thank you very much, Mr. Chalk. Delroy Chalk, they're reacting to news that the Jamaica Labour Party, Dr. Norman Dunn, has won the by-election in the constituency of Southeast St. Mary. It's back to you in studio. Thank you, Andrea. Let's just update those numbers that Andrea told you a little earlier. You can see them at the bottom of our screen. Norman Dunn with 8,095 votes and Dr. Shane Alexis with 7,128 votes. That's uh, uh, 107 of 108 boxes counted. Counted, therefore, Norman Dunn there winning the Southeast St. Mary by election, while the PNP has won the South St. Andrew by election. The latest figures coming out of that constituency in a moment. Let me just get to that right now. Mark Golding with 5,596 5 votes. That's 87%. Norm Mark Golding with 5,000. Uh, 5,596 votes at 87% of the vote and um, Dennis Dane with 801 votes that's 13% that's in St. Andrew Southern and in Southwest St. Andrew uh, Dr. Angela Brown Burke with 5,485 votes there it is on the bot bottom of your screen and Victor Heights with Hyde with 164 votes 3% of the vote compared to 97% of the vote. Still 15 boxes to be counted, but very clear that Angela Brown Burke, as expected, and uh, Mark Golding uh, uh, joining the lower house of parliament as former senators. And in South East St. Mary, the one that everyone was watching, the JLP has gained that seat, which means their margin in the House of Representatives moves from one to three. They now have 33 uh, constituencies, while the governing, while the opposition People's National Party has 30 constituencies. 